how to enable multiple pixels or tags on your WordPress website using Pixel Your Site. I am referring to multiple Google Analytics properties, Google Ad properties, or Meta Pixels and Meta Pixels with API support. Uh, this is part of our professional license plus super pack. Let me show you what I mean exactly. This is Pixel Site Professional, and this uh, add-on right here or plugin is the super pack. It comes with our advanced or agency licenses for Pixel Site Professional and any bundle deal. Uh, this is the marketing part. Now let's dig into uh, the options we have. Now, right here inside the plugin, we have a dedicated page for the super pack and we have advanced pixel options enabled. When this is enabled, you have various options for each pixel. First, you can add a new one. In fact, on my demo website, I have two uh, pixels installed, two meta pixels already installed, and I have um, this button to add a new one. I have to add the pixel ID, I can add conversion API token, and I have this option, fire automatic events for this pixel. This will uh, enable all our um, default events that track various actions and that you can control from the plugin main page. We track scroll, page scroll, time on page, clicks, uh, AdSense clicks, a lot of things. And enable WooCommerce events for this pixel, meaning that if you use WooCommerce, we will fire the uh, WooCommerce specific events like add to cart, uh, purchase, initial checkout, and, and so on. And you have something else. You can um, tell the plugin where to fire the pixel. By default, the pixel will be fired on all your website pages, but you can uh, select singular pages, every singular page or front page or post and select which post you want to target with the pixel. Start to type here uh, and you will have a list of your posts like, okay, blogins and art. So in this configuration, the pixel will fire only on this particular blog post in category and so on. This is singular. Uh, archives, and again, you can select archives, post types, and you can start to type the post type you want to uh, enable the pixel for, or WooCommerce, and for WooCommerce, we have various conditions. It's very, very flexible. If you need to configure a pixel just for a section of your website, you can do it from here and you can add multiple conditions. So WooCommerce search results and this pixel will fire only on the WooCommerce search results page. And uh, I don't know, uh, post type uh, pages. And in this case, since I have two conditions, the pixel will fire on search results, search results and on all uh, pages, so now blog posts, not other type of type of pages. This is just this is just an example, of course. Uh, this is how you can enable the pixel just for some pages of your website. Uh, we have something else. You can hide the pixel for various uh, conditions. For example, if URL includes and enable this, add your condition. Let's say uh, you don't want the pixel to uh, be fired on pages that include product. I'm just giving you an example. It doesn't make much sense, but this is the, the way to do it. So simply type here product. Or if landing URL includes these URL tags, and this is very interesting and powerful thing because you can disable uh, the pixel based on URL tags, meaning that uh, let's say you have a link somewhere to your website and you have some URL tags, I don't know, like uh, secret equal don't show. And the link to this page includes the URL like that. And now 
if the landing page has this um, tag and the option it's enabled, the pixel won't fire for that particular user. Uh, how can you use such a feature? Let's say you don't want to uh, fire a pixel for people coming from, I don't know, uh, a particular website uh, or an affiliate of yours or uh, a, a meta campaign, for example. For some reason, you, you want to hire, hide that pixel for that particular traffic source. Use um, URL tags with the links there and then add the URL tag here and um, the pixel will be uh, not visible, not work, will not work for uh, those users. And you can set up for how long the pixel should not work. By default, it's 24 hours. So after 24 hours, the user will start to get a pixel or you can increase the time here. We have something else. We have uh, the option to remove the pixel from pages and uh, it's very easy to use it. Edit the page and here you can remove all metapixels or a particular pixel and update. So this is another way to um, control where a pixel will be fired. These features again are part of our um, add-on called the Super Pack. The Super Pack works only with Pixel Site Professionals, so you need to have both installs, you know, installed in order to have uh, the the options I was explaining. Um, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.